going on? Oh, girl, I didn't know that was you. I'm like, girl, this girl, who is this that took her page and super chatted to the top? No. <laughs> no, that's, that's definitely me. That's definitely me. First of all, I want to say, first of all, thank you for believing in the show so much that where you even donated because, girl, you are really, really humble. You know, most celebrities and famous people, they come in here like, nigga, I'm in here. Pick me. You know what I'm saying? So um, thank you for that. I yes, I seen. And at first, I also want to say shout out to you because, you know, I don't think you realize I realize it. But me and you are really growing together. Like you just bought your yeah. bins, I just bought my bins. You just hit your hundred k. Oh. I just hit my hundred k. I'm verified on YouTube. You verified on IG. So that's what I'm like, girl. We really doing this the grind live. together. This is live. This yeah. is live. This is live. But you know what? Well, you know us up here. We always are team Erica Banks. Okay, and it's not even on no bias shit. It's on some shit like I found you through the blogs. And I listened to you, yeah. and I was like, I live for it. And you know, when you when I, I hit you up, and it was like, when you come, when you're going to be in Atlanta, you told me when you was going to be there. I bought a ticket that day to come see you because I believe in you. And so I you just did. want to let you, you know did. that. Yeah, I want you to let you know that. So what's up? What you got? You know, I was just tapping in. I seen you know you promote the episode, and I'm like, me and my uh. Makeup artist and hairstylist, child. We've been tapped in the use since we met in person. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna watch the show while I get my makeup done. So I ain't Period. Hell, well, I'm stepping in and say, hey, what's up? Well, absolutely. Here, here's my thing, girl. I would, you know, listen, because I want you to come on, but I didn't. I, you getting, you got the Nicki Minaj co-sign and the Nicki Minaj follow and shit. So I gotta make sure that I can get you for when it's right, girl. Because I need you when you get that Billboard Hot 100 to come on back onto the show and come home. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, and give us that stamp of approval that we already called it before everybody else, before Nicki and DJ Booth seen it. Okay, because I got that nigga number two. You, know so, you, you was the first. You was the first to really just say it publicly and be real and actually tell the damn truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. And I respect it so much. I really respect it so much because it's so real. It's so authentic. Nothing is forced, you know, on your end and shit. You know, we like saying now shit. No, let me tell you something, though. Can First of all, and I got to be real with you, okay? Um, first, let's start with the great. The great was this whole lot of choppers. What made you do that? Because let me tell you something. That gave me that energy of that 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 no hook freestyle. Like that was the energy I was yeah, on. You know how I feel about that no hook. So that's kind of what that no choppers like remix get like. What made you do that? It's exactly what you said in your uh, in your show. It was just me moving on to the next thing. You know, because dealing with the uh, the DJ shows situation, I was just like, okay. Whatever, I'm going to just go this way then. You know what I'm saying? If it's yes. an issue over here, I'm going to just go this way and do it like that. And, you know, shit, it turned out to be something I didn't even think it would. You know, it was just me doing another freestyle and, you know, knowing that I can do it over and over and over again if need be. So I was like, well, let me just do a different one, you know, so they can't nobody just really get on my damn nerves about it. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom, it happened like this. So it was really perfect timing with everything. And you see how God just moved? And I be over here just excited because I'm like, when you did that and I seen it and I listened to her, because mind you, I'm in the dentist chair. So that everything is like my phone is blowing up. And I'm and mind you, I'm I'm in the literally getting a freaking like getting two cavities and I'm trying to make the post. I'm like, she is bodying this right now. But I I thought that I was like, this is so brilliant. You know what I mean? Because we talk behind the scenes, but I'm just saying like that that was so brilliant how you navigated through that because I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I, I know you probably can't talk about it, but, but what Meg did was some bullshit, period. And she's watching you. You get a lot of flack, like like you want to be her. And, and we talked about this before. I said, do you feel like you're going to be in, in Megan Thee Stallion's shadow? And you said no. But I do think it's going to be very hard to navigate to a certain, probably not now, but it was going to be hard for you because a lot of these people are trying to make, you know, they don't want to pick a side. They don't want to look like, you know, they're choosing someone else to like shit on Megan the Stallion. So, you know, they'll shade you. But what I like about it is you are continuing to do your thing and you understand your talent and your craft. And then you got Carl, who is automatically completely and utterly with the shit so he don't care you know what i'm saying like he's all the way with it 
But for you, my um, my thing was I love how you stay focused. And and the only thing with your thick remix, it was good. It was just short. Hers was good too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Her remix was good. Do you think yours was better? Of course. <laughs> I, think, I think mine was better, but I mean, you know, everybody is, is entitled to their own opinion, you know, so some people yes. might think that hers was better, some people might think mine was better, you know, either way it goes, I personally felt like mine was better, and let me tell you why, I feel like mine was better because I stayed on topic, you know what I'm okay. saying, when you listen yes. to my song, you think of a squirt, shake that ass, throw it back on the flow, like a hoe, on the pole, you know what I'm saying, Right. and then it's like, you listen to the other version, and it just sounds like that, this is, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's just my opinion, you know. Everybody got their opinion. That's just mine. So, okay. And the last thing, because I do got to remember, when we did the interview, right? And you were following her at one point. I noticed that you don't follow her anymore. When did you stop following her? Uh, I can't even really tell you the exact day, to be honest. But it was it was recently. It was lately. It was probably, okay. um, if not a week ago, maybe a little bit of a week ago. But yeah, it was recently. Because, you so know, what on my you... end, it was never an issue. You know what I'm saying? It was never an issue, which is why I was following her, you know? But people get things misconstrued, but that's another story. Okay, and so now how do you feel, though, now, though? You got Nicki Minaj shouting you out and Mulatto. And now, like I said earlier, Mulatto has gotten a lot of shout-outs and a lot of cosigns. You haven't got a lot of that. But you are still mentioned in the same breath, in the same time with, the you know, the the most, the, you know, the best female rapper of all time, Nicki Minaj. Like, what does yeah. that feel like today? You know what? First, I thought it wasn't real. I had to wait. I had to make sure she was verified. I'm like, is this a real Nicki? Like, I'm in the car at the time, so I'm tripping out. Like, wait a minute. But no, like, it feels good. Like, I really can't even explain it to you for real. You know, it's, it's unexplainable. You know, this is somebody I grew up listening to, you know, and whenever I have interviews, she's always my first choice. Always, you know, I always bring her to the light and, you know, share how I was such a barb. And so, yeah, it's, it's unexplainable. But, you know, I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm excited for everything. And shit is finally coming together for me. So, you know, I'm pretty lit. And then you got DJ Booth. You know, I love DJ Booth. You got him wanting the DJ for you. DJ Booth. Shout out to him. Big shout out to him. He showed so much love. So you and DJ Booth going to do something together? Or is D-Boy your DJ? Because I was telling people that D-Boy was your DJ. Because I feel like I thought I saw D-Boy DJing. Do D-Boy DJ? Okay, look. So everybody, everybody think D-Boy is the DJ. No, no, yes. DJ. I mean, D-Boy is, he's the MC. He's okay. <laughs> okay. Cause yeah, I'm like D boy yeah, be yeah, yeah. DJing, yeah. so I don't know how that's gonna work. So wait, he not the DJ. <laughs> yeah, nah, he don't. He, he don't. Nah, he don't. He don't DJ. He just MC. Sergeant J DJ. Um, but yeah, DJ Booth. He was uh asking me on live if I had a DJ, and I'm like, well, y'all got a DJ, but I don't have a tour DJ. You know, I don't have a DJ for when Ooh. I come to New York. You know what I'm saying? Up north. So, you know, hey, if y'all see me on stage and he doing my show set after Nikki set or before Nikki set, just know, you know, it's, it's been in the works. <laughs> and I hear you going on Queen Radio, so I just want you to keep your freestyle chops up because I feel like Nikki Minaj, when she get back going, she going to want you on Queen Radio and you definitely going to have to give us a freestyle. And I'm going to be there yesterday. And you're going to body that on Queen Radio. You hear me? You're going to make me proud, bitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to body that on Queen Radio. That is going to happen to you. I'm telling you. Um. So what's next though? What are we gonna? Are because I know what last time we. Well, I don't know if we've been talking about that, but you said you know the album. Like you know the album. Remember when we talked about the album? I don't know if we can really get into that, but like, what's going on with that? So at this time, I mean, I'm always taking music. So of course I got a shitload of music. I could really mm -hmm. put out a project at any time, you know, at this point. But right now we just continuing to push uh, Bust It and Toot That. And, you know, hopefully one of those can go gold or platinum. And then that's really what we wishing for. You know, so once we get to that point, then we'll look into putting out, uh, you know, a new project. But right now Another we project. just continuing to push it. Yeah. And, and listen, I listen to you daily. Uh, I'm, and that's no cap. 
Um, you know, I really love you, and I love I love your artistry, and I love and I love your family, your mom, your dad, and all that shit. But like outside of that, I love your artistry, and I'm so happy. Like when you make it, it makes me feel happy because I'm like I seen it. You know what I'm saying? You like my little yeah, sister. Yeah. So girl, um, I'm rooting for you all the way. And don't forget me. Listen, and when you start going on tours, bitch, I need to listen. Free, I am like your you DJ know, academics, you know. okay? You, you, I am mean? your DJ you academic. Have, we kicked it. Yes. Drinks, I am not going to forget you. Crazy. Okay. Do not forget it because then I have to start dragging. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I start Jason Lee in your ass. You know how he be on, he be on Meg ass. <laughs> yes. So listen, Um. so would you do a record with Cardi B? I would do a record with Cardi B. I would. I would do a record yeah. with Cardi B. Yeah, I think that'd be a good record too, friend. Okay, so what male artist would you think you would do a record with? Because I want to see you do like a Travis Scott. I think that'd be hot for you. I love Travis Scott. I love mm -hmm. Travis Scott. But you know what? I actually want to work with Tank. I want to do something with Tank. Tank? Friend, yeah. Tank is sexy, but Tank ain't going to get you chart. And we need you on the Billboard Hot 100. You don't think so? No. I don't think so. I think we well, need you I on a billboard. You, I, I see how you looking at it, though. I see how you looking at it, yeah. We need you. We need you, you with Amigo. We need you with an NBA top, young boy. You know? We need we need you with, a, like, yeah. the baby. We need you with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a gunner. We need you I with little Gunna baby. Yeah. F ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Future. Yeah, future. future. Yes. 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 Future will be good. Let's, let's speak that into existence. Let's, let's, let's do that. Okay? Yeah, let's let's do a future for the halls one time, okay, <laughs> baby? Let's do a let's speak a okay. future in it, okay? <laughs> let's speak. But listen, Erica, I'm gonna let you go. But listen, you did your thing. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for calling in because I literally was like, I'm not gonna call her. I'm not gonna have her come on because I wanted it to be like I didn't want to like you know ruin my. I didn't want to like overextend my my request because so. But thank you for reaching out no, and, and no, coming on here. All right, Bill. So, um, yeah, and you know, I'm coming out to once this quarantine is over and you start touring and and doing shows. You know, I'm coming out there, girl, because we I, I want to see you perform. So, um, I'm definitely coming to support and let the fam know. I said what's going on and I love them all. Okay. Yes, indeed, I sure will. I love you so. All right, much. you have a good night. All right, you too. Bye. All right, guys, that was Erica. Hey! In the mix. mix. Who is this freak of nature? With DJ Armand.